That deadly crash in Polk County. Good evening and welcome to ABC Action News at 5. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us, everyone. That collision happened between a bus carrying migrant workers and a tanker truck just before 6 o'clock this morning. The crash off US 98 near Adams Road was just outside of Fort Meade. Well, tonight, nearly a dozen people are recovering in the hospital. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit is outside of Lakeland Regional Health with what investigators say happened. 10 people are in the hospital being treated for their injuries. One person who was on the bus that was bringing migrants to the farm did not survive the crash. I was a farm worker myself at once. Um, it just brings me back. It brings me back how, how we grew up and, and the suffering that we went through. Investigators say around 6 this morning, a migrant labor bus crossed over the center line, hitting a tanker truck head on. It happened on U.S. Highway 98 East at Adams Road. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused the bus to cross the center line. There were 38 people on board. They don't know English. They don't, you know, they're already intimidated, like I said. So if, if nurses and doctors are coming in, I'm sure they're just, they're afraid. The group was on their way to work in the strawberry fields in Plant City. All crashes are gut-wrenching, but when you see that there's a group of folks who are on their way to do hard work that most of society won't do so that we have the ability to have fresh fruit, and for reasons unknown at this point in the investigation, the driver creams over the center line head on into another vehicle. It's, it's, it's very sad. The bus carrying the migrant workers is owned by Overlook Harvesting in Winter Haven. Isabel Leon with Polk County Schools Farm Worker Career Development Program tells me the migrants are part of the H-2A visa program, which allows U.S. employers to bring foreign nationals to the states to fill temporary agricultural jobs. As a former farm worker, Leon knows how devastating missing a day's work can be. They're here to work. They're here to to come in and, and make money so that they can give their families a better life in Mexico. In Polk County, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.